Hey folks, Don Luke here with Circuit Board Medics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to move an oven control board from a Whirlpool double oven. Before working on disassembling the oven, always be sure to disconnect the power. So the main oven control board we're going to be trying to access here is right here behind this panel. Some of the issues you may be experiencing with this oven control board are the F2E6 error code, oven not reaching set temperature, or oven exceeding set temperature. If you're experiencing any of these issues or need help diagnosing an issue, feel free to give us a call. In order to remove the oven control board, you need to gain access to the top of the oven here. Depending on your setup at home, that process may look a little bit different for you. Whatever the case may be, use caution when removing it. Now that you've removed the oven from your kitchen setup, in order to gain access to the oven control board, you're going to have to remove six screws along the top part of the oven. This particular oven has six screws, two screws on each side and two screws in the back. Once you have your screws removed, you'll be able to remove this top plate. With the top plate out of the way, you will be able to see your oven control board. We highly recommend that you take a picture of the board prior to removing any cables so that you can use the photo as a reference when you install your repaired board. Now before you remove the screws of this oven control board, be sure to remove the ribbon cable first. This ribbon cable is extremely delicate, so be careful when you're doing this process. If it is bent or damaged in any way, It'll impede the board's ability to communicate with the touchpad, and then your touchpad will also have to be replaced. In order to remove it, you have a retention bracket that's buckled into the ribbon cable header. On both sides of that bracket, it has a pressure release, two little nubs that you squeeze together and then pull the bracket up itself. Once you do that, it should allow the ribbon cable to slide right out, like so. And to show you exactly what this looks like, you can even squeeze it together and pull that bracket out fully. And that's what we're looking at here. And to remove it, you just pinch these two sides together and pull out. After removing the ribbon cable, we will move into unplugging the rest of the wires. Be careful when you're unplugging these wires and make sure that you're pulling from the base instead of the wire itself. The last step before taking out your oven's control board is to remove the five screws connecting the board to the touch panel. Now that you've removed those five screws, your oven control board is ready to ship to us for repair. If you have any oven issues at all, feel free to give us a call at 800-547-2049 or visit our website at sugarboardmedics.com. We look forward to serving you and getting your ovens back up in working order.